Welcome back to Steph's Crafty Space. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to join me. I am a little late to the game. I have been kind of indecisive on my 2020 lineup, but I think I have it. We shall see. So I'm just going to share that with y'all a little bit. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you might want to go ahead and do that so you don't miss out on any of the fun stuff and all the interesting things that I can come up with. So hit that subscribe um, and the like button and I would love to hear any feedback. So go ahead and leave me a comment as well. So let's get started on my 2020 lineup. I originally had thought I wanted to use this as my mini on the go. Um, it is the, see, I already did all that. It's the monthly layout. I got to this point and I'm like, um, yeah, this not going to work for me at all. I don't like the way it's set up. If I tried this, if I put the dates where it says Wednesday, like if I put it down, then it throws it all off. Anyway, it makes no sense to me. My brain can't comprehend this. So, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, if anything, maybe a bunch of lists, I don't know. Um, I do like a lot of these, the dividers that are in here, but I can't, I can't do this. So, I went to Joann's today, and um, with my daughter, Heather, hi Heather. Anyway, so we were looking around, and I decided I wanted to do a vertical layout for my mini, and I loved these, like for real y'all. These are just beautiful, 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 beautiful. So um, this is going to be my on the go mini. I decided to do the vertical. Um, I did a vertical classic last year and I really enjoyed it, but I fell in love with, and she's next, the home buddy. Oh my gosh y'all. This is my absolute favorite planner. I, I am so tempted to go buy all of the home buddies so I can have them forever and ever. I don't know why I like this one so much except for the fact that I am a home buddy and I just love being at home. So I'm going to get to her in a minute because I Franken plan or transform. I get the two confused. I will show you in a minute what I do. So I'm going to put her to the side. This is a planner that was gifted to me and I don't like it at all. I am not a rainbow, unicorn, glitter, fluffy kind of girl, um, but I was looking through it and decided that I needed this for my social media Etsy shop business planner it's broken down into squares I can organize and utilize that because I was trying to use the botanical gardens which is beautiful as my social media planner and it is the monthly layout and this again my brain can't do this as far as calendar and dates it's just this is not a calendar to my brain so we had to find something new and I cannot keep affording to run out and buy a planner every time my brain says, go get something else. So I had this one. I don't care for the colors and all of that, but I do like the layout and it's something I already had. So I am going to go with it and try it for at least a month before I run out and go buy something else. So this is what I'm going to use for my social media and business planner. Now this beautiful little girl is going to be my wellness planner. Um, I love these colors. These are two of my favorite colors. Um, like them a little bit on the darker side, but generally these are, these are my two favorite colors. So I love her and I think y'all can see a theme going on here. <laughs> with my planners. I really like the pastel, muted, pretty colors. I'm not much into rainbow bright. Um, nothing against rainbow bright. I 
loved watching her with my children, but um, I am definitely a, a calmer color kind of girl. So this is going to be my wellness. And no, I haven't filled this out. Y'all, it's taken me this long to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, I do love all of these that are in here. And the colors are pretty. So I have kind of started setting this up. I realize today is the 31st. Um, and tomorrow is New Year's Day. And I am all about progress, not perfection. So my goal is to be in here every day, whether I achieve what I think I should have or not, my greatest achievement is going to be being here every day. So I need to write in these. I need to go back and set my steps for, for yesterday. Um, I have this um, grand idea to do yoga and I will eventually do it, but it's here to let me know that's what I should be doing. Um, and then this is going to start tomorrow since it starts with the first and these are my goals. So, um, my habits are going to be 30 minute movement a nightly routine because I don't have one. I'm horrible at it and to be in bed by 10. I don't sleep very well. And so I need all the bedtime I can possibly get. And on the back of this, this, I don't know, I was doing my setup and now you're getting all into my wellness, but I'm just telling myself exercise is movement and it can be broken up throughout the day. I don't have to stop for 30, 45 minutes, change into some clothes, put my hair up and go do this massive exercise. I can go for a brisk walk. I can honestly, if I just start cleaning my house, that could be exercise. It is just that bad y'all. Um, this is my nighttime routine, wash face, brush teeth. Um, and then read a chapter of a book a night. I need to get back into reading. So that is my night routine. Um, in my bedtime, I need to take my meds by 9 o'clock. My mom needs to be in bed by 9.30. We take care of her. She um, has some disabilities and dementia. So we have to stay on top of her routine as well. And then I need to go to bed. Like as soon as I get mom in bed, I need to come up here and start getting myself together. So... This is just a way for me to keep track of what I want to be doing. I'm not going to say what I should be or I'm supposed to do. This is what I want to do. I'm, I'm doing this because I want to, not because I have to. Um, so this is going to be my wellness journey. And the only other planner that I have not gotten together yet that will be part of my lineup is my faith planner. And I have not decided how I'm doing that yet. So... Um, once I do, she will be here as well. Okay, so this is my catch-all, okay? She is my home buddy, and I would love to put more... I was going to put my wellness in here and my social media and my catch-all, but then I realized I won't have enough room on these, and I'm not ready to give these up yet. So... Once I get some of the expander disc in this color, I might. I might go ahead and put the wellness in here so it's all in one place. But as of right now, I am not about to give these pretty babies up. So, as you can see, I have not even taken out January. I mean, January, goodness, it's only January now. I have not taken out December, so I'm fixing to do that. This is my little post-it note thing. Um, that I made for anybody who purchases through my shop, you get one of these for free. So, um, not the post-it notes on it. I let you pick out the ones that you like, but I do have little cards that I have laminated and punched holes. So you can put it in your planner and you can put post-it notes or washi tape or whatever you want on there. So just a little marketing there. Okay. Oh, here was my January, I mean, my December catch-all. So we can do a flip through with that. Um, some things are written in. This week um, was a really rough week. Um, my brother-in-law took his life. His funeral was here. There was so much going on, getting ready for Christmas. And we did have our gingerbread house decorating. I couldn't tell you what happened this week at all. I have no idea. But it's beautiful. It is beautiful just the way it is. And I'm okay with that. And then this week, the same. Y'all, December was just a pretty crazy month for me. Um, emotionally, mentally. So that was that was a lot. 
this was actual Christmas week and I actually did do a little bit better. Um, I think I sensed things winding down and so I was like, okay, I can make it a little bit longer to go. So this was Christmas week and that's that. So I can take this one out and y'all, I cannot tell you how glad I am that I am no longer in this one. I don't remember the name of this colorful something and for some people they love it it was actually my daughter's and she loved these colors she just didn't want the classic anymore i cannot do all this color i i like i like soft i like soft colors so this is going to be um my catch-all so i do have some things that are already in here for january I do have the first week done and things are being written down so I'm kind of going on target and this back here I just I love this cover so it's just gonna stay here I don't care what planner goes behind it until I find a better cover I, I love this color um, and this is <laughs> which does not I mean the colors kind of match but this is from the choose happy and this is going to be my um, social media and, um, oh my goodness, social media and Etsy shop planner. So all things that will go here. I do have some things already written down separately that I'm going to transfer to here. I just didn't know until last night that this is what I was going to do. So there's that. And then back here again, okay, llamas and alpacas are my thing. I actually love alpacas much better. Um, I've been to several alpaca farms. They are beautiful, beautiful animals. So soft, so sweet. But sometimes I just have to do with the llama because that's what everybody has. Um, so that's there. And this is just my everything. This is why this is my catch-all. So this is my everything. I have a brain dump. Everything that I can think of goes here. And then I determine which list it needs to go to. So I have a home master, I have a planner master, I have a business master, and then I have so all these ideas, and then video ideas, then my social media master, my Christmas master, which that's as far as I got. Um, this is my honeydew list. So some of these things I can check off because we've already done them. Um, my TV show tracker, which is kind of outdated, but I will catch that up. Um, my very sad, sad, sad bucket list. And that's one of the things that I'm going to be working on this year is making this a little brighter. Um, this is how I keep up with disc love. And I don't want to show a bunch of addresses, so I'm not. But this is all the disc love that I've done. And then back here I have some notepaper because you never know. This is going to be my cleaning. This is my schedule. Um, and I'm going to go over this at another time, but this is what is back here. And then this is food stuff, just thoughts and things and stuff that I've tried that may not have worked. And I've just written all over things, but I know that I want to keep it. So it's just there. So I know where it is and that's it. So this is my planner lineup. So this is my catch all and it has my everything planner, my social media and Etsy planner and my home life. And this is going to be my wellness planner. Um, and this wellness journey is for spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical. So this is going to have a lot more in it than just physical stuff. And then this one right here is my on the go. And I just got her today. I switched the rings out. It came with plastic rings and I like I like the uh, metal rings a lot better. If I can get these bigger, then she's going in here. If not, I may get some metal rings for her, but we'll see. So that is it, ladies um, and gentlemen, that I have. So this is my lineup for 2020, and there is going to be so much coming, so many things that are going to be coming down the pike that y'all are not going to want to miss. So I advise that you go right now and hit that subscribe button and leave any comments. Y'all have a blessed new year. Today is New Year's Eve and tomorrow is the new year. It's going to be 2020. And I wish each and every one of you a very prosperous new year. Blessings.